Hey everybody, Brett from Stardew's Gaming here, back with another episode of our Total War Warhammer Empire campaign. So, we've got some dark days ahead. The forces of chaos are really, really coming down hard on us, and uh, if you watched the previous episode, you'll know that um, Karl Franz's army was destroyed and he was wounded. So, the only army we have left is this little group right here. We're going to... I think we're going to save our money, honestly. I don't see building up an army right now to be all that beneficial. What I'm going to try to do is get every single city that we can walled off with a pretty good garrison so that uh, they can't hit it. I'm thinking... Let's see... Basic walls on Nuln is a good idea. And then we're going to upgrade... Uh, Wissenberg, I guess. And I think everything in Reichland is already maxed out, except for Eilhart, because it was uh, taken by the... or it was besieged by the Bretonians for... I don't know what their deal was, to be honest. Um, we are going to get revenge on them with this army if we can. That's another army that we have, but not in this theater of war so it doesn't do us any good but uh... yeah these cities with the exception of Eilhart all have max walls and max garrison so hopefully they can hold out uh... Altdorf does not though so that's something to consider down the road let's see we would need two more population surplus before we can get that though so probably not gonna be seeing it for a while uh, let's take a look at diplomacy and see if there's anybody who might be willing to negotiate now that uh, chaos is chaos is here rather than just like an impending threat. They're a very, very real threat at this point. Ostermark, would you be so kind as to just like attack anybody? Like get them for me, please. And let's see, all the Bretonian factions hate me for the most part. We did just um, gain Hail diplomacy with these guys. Do you come looking for a non-aggression pact is better than nothing, certainly. So at least I don't have to worry about another war. Uh, maybe with Carcassonne as well. These lands are ours by the right yeah, yeah. I don't care. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, let's give these guys a war target. Uh, they're only at war with... Okay, well, help me out with Bretonia, then. They're not at war with Chaos for some odd reason. Well, they are, they just won't attack them. Okay. Uh, oops. Kislev. You guys are pretty much destroyed, and you still won't negotiate with me. Let's see, the Border Princes are starting to come around. And they won't negotiate either. None of these factions will, which really sucks, because these two are human and uh, some of the strongest factions in the game right now and I would Greetings. love to have their help may not be the but they seem disinterested because they're so far away so yeah nothing doing there I guess let's just advance and see what the next turn brings uh, I'm sure it'll bring more doom and destruction but hopefully it'll turn things around a little bit too so the Bretonians are offering me a peace treaty, and I think I'm going to go ahead and accept it. Um, they declared war on me for no apparent reason, uh, sacked one of my settlements, and then ran away. And now they're offering me uh, just a straight-up peace, and I, I guess I'm going to accept it, because honestly, I, I just don't have the resources to fight on two fronts, and I really had no beef with them to begin with. Now I kind of do, because they <laughs> took a cheap shot at me, but... I think I'm just going to, you know, forgive and forget and focus on uh, what's going on to the north and to the east. Alright, so apparently some of the orcs have been destroyed. We have an imminent rebellion in Sylvania, but I honestly don't even care. It looks like our allies are mobilizing, which is good. Um, what we need to do is get this army over here and have them march back, since we no longer have to worry about the Bretonians, there's really no reason to have them anywhere in that general vicinity. So we're going to move back this way, and uh, hopefully we can maybe garrison like Grunberg or something and have that sort of be our our final standpoint, because Wurtbad is probably not long for this world. Um, Averheim is going to be difficult to hold way out there by itself, 
and uh, we might be able to hold like Wissenberg and Fildorf just because they're so far south. Um, it'll be a while before Chaos gets here. Um, I am starting to invest in these cities so that I can wall them off, but that money is probably going to be better spent elsewhere. Honestly, maybe not, because these are all, for the most part, upgraded with the exception of Isleheart. As soon as this is done, we'll take this up to the next tier, and then I'll rebuild the uh, the Reich's Fort whenever we have the funds, which might be never, but we'll, we'll think about it. I'm more concerned with the walls at this point, and then uh, I'd like to get walls on these two as well. So Kislev is at war with the Greenskins. Kislev is going to die very shortly. Uh, we got a non-aggression pact with uh, some more Bretonians there. Peace negotiated. Um, they're marching their army back home through our lands. And that seems to be it. Oh, yeah, right. Let's give them a different target if we can. Also, I'd like to see if some of these factions, like, will you trade with me yet? They've been teasing trade agreements for, like, I don't know, six episodes now. Like, we'll, we'll think about it, and then they never do it, so... I think I... I think I'm giving up on them. Let's see... Bretonia. I, am King I would love a non-aggression pact with you guys, although... Last time we had one, you guys cancelled it and then declared war on me for, again, no reason. We actually had a fairly good relationship with them, too. It's pretty bad now because of the war, but they were actually, um... On the positive side of neutral, and just decided to declare war so yeah kind of strange uh, why won't you guys help whatever let's go ahead and advance and uh, see what chaos does this time they didn't really do much in the last uh, turn they just moved these guys toward work bad I think they're prepping for a siege but uh, honestly I, I don't know it sure seems like it, though. I mean, they've got these guys sitting here. They'll probably join them. They'll have this siege and uh, raise that to the ground. And then I, I would assume Averheim is next, which could be bad because our army is there. You know what? Let's have you fall back because you're not going to win that. Um, I'm going to have you fall back to Nuln, I guess. And I think that will do it for this turn as soon as they stop moving. So, Averland is declaring war on us, and there's really nothing we can do about it. I don't know why, what is motivating them to declare war on their neighboring humans when they have vampires and uh, chaos spawn coming after them. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, actually, the vampires aren't at war with them anymore, but uh, they were, and that's why they got destroyed in the first place. But, uh, fine, I guess. I mean, you're gonna have a bunch of my allies after you uh, so Templehof is being raided Templehof is a lost cause in my mind I'm not worried about it at all uh, Manfred is trespassing probably on Templehof and yeah the war was declared we're very aware of that let's see so the rebels are the ones who are raiding I thought he might be the one raiding us it would be really interesting if he came to our rescue and attacked some of these chaos factions because we had a pretty long and bloody war with them, as you can see here. There's a lot of stuff burnt to the ground. Um, we have Templehof. All he's got left is Drakenhof. Um, so it would be really funny if the vampires ended up like bailing us out. That would be a sight to see. Um, I'm going to have you... Really, that's, that's the extent of your movement, even with Forced March. It's all these damn rivers, that's what it is. We're going to try to get them to Nuln, so let's let's do that. And let's see. I don't I don't know right now. It doesn't really matter. Altdorf, what do you got? We could take this up another tier. It's not going to help me out though. Uh Eilhart, you guys are almost there. One more turn. I need this army in Grunberg. So, let's get you marching. I'm going to try to set up like a perimeter between uh, the river and the mountains here. And I'll put a couple, basically all of our armies in like ambush stances along this perimeter to try to draw them into a fight with like an ambusher and a reinforcer from a garrison or something. I'm hoping that we can use that to kind of hold this line here. 
because they really don't have a way to get to us other than that or maybe going way around through the north toward Altdorf, which uh, I don't see them doing. I don't see them doing that. So we're going to try that. Let's give our ally another war target. I think, uh, let's see, was it these guys? Yeah, they needed a war target. So I can I get you to um, attack Avalan for me? And you guys are attacking Chaos. That's that's cool with me. I need somebody to do it. And yeah, there's a couple people that are sort of getting friendlier toward me, but I don't think it's gonna matter. What does the Emperor need that he cannot? No trades there. How about a non-aggression pact? The laws of chivalry demand I hear you. There we go. That's something. We can't trade with them, so that's not really going to do anything. But at least we've got some non-aggression packs going here. I'd love one with these guys as well. What does the Emperor need that he cannot already find? Okay, cool. So, basically, we we can rest assured that we're not going to be attacked from the west. At least not for a while. Uh, but the east is still a... I'm not going to say what I think it is, but um, it's not good. It's not good. Okay, well, I think we're just going to save our money. I don't really have anywhere to spend it. I guess I could recruit some more troops. Uh, where did that one army go? Where are you guys? I'm all turned around right now. No, I want, I want the little army. There it is. Oh, wait, I can't recruit with these guys because they're force marched. Yeah, I've got to wait. Okay, well, in the next turn, we're going to recruit quite a few units for this thing, and I'm probably going to replace uh, either this lord or this guy. This guy's going to get replaced by either Carl or Balthazar, and uh, I don't. I, he might be better than Balthazar, so we might leave him. So we've got more rebellion on our hands, nothing new. Uh, Wurt Bad was raised to the ground, just as we expected, and Averheim is under siege by Averland, the original owner. The border princes have been destroyed, so it looks like we won't be convincing them to join us anytime soon. And uh, the rebels continue to raid Tempelhof. Oh good, and we had an incident with Marienburg. Not that they were ever going to help us anyways. Uh, we lost wine, so that's going to hurt our trade. And it looks like Bretonia is making peace with just about everybody. So, I need you guys to go back to your regular stance, hop into that city, and then recruit like crazy. Give me... you can't recruit halberdiers here. Okay, then give me as many spearmen. Are the spearmen... I feel like the swordsmen were better. The spearmen just weren't that great. I'm going to get some swordsmen in here. Like, they're good against cavalry, but that's, that's about it. Okay, I need you to get to Grunberg, which has like chaos pustules growing around it, so that's probably a bad sign. Um, we're going to try to build up this army a little bit further as well, and let's see, I think Eilhart is ready for some walls, perfect, and the only thing worth building here is this, but I can't afford it, so why not? And I'm actually going to upgrade this as well because I have the money and our income is not so great right now. So any building I can get that will improve it, I may as well take. I mean, our income is good, but we're, we're slowly losing trade because our allies, our trade partners, and uh, our trading resources are all being taken from us by chaos. So it's slowly going to deplete our income and we're only going to have buildings left to rely on. Now... I think we've done all of, or pretty much all we can do here. Yeah, they got hit by three stacks, so there was there was like no chance. And then this is under siege here. Uh, I was hoping that uh, Karak Azor would help me out, but they actually ran away. All they had to do was attack them, and the, the garrison would have helped them out quite a bit, but they ran the other direction, so I don't think we can expect any help from them. So the rebels have finally uh, built up enough of a force to besiege Tempelhof. Um, again, it's a lost cause. I don't really care. Karl Franz is ready for duty. 
Uh, apparently the Bretonians are still trespassing. Wissenberg is ready for some walls, so that's good. Let's get on that. Okay. There we go. Uh, one more turn for Fildorf. And let's actually take this up a tier. Because that will help my income as well. And then... It looks like... Karak Norn is starting to roll out on somebody. Hopefully it's Chaos. I think I told them to attack Chaos. You guys need some more Swordsmen. We'll take one more and two more Crossbow. And that's all my money. So... Let's see. They look like they're already headed for Grunberg, which is bad. But... We should be able to hold the line here, I think. They've got three armies. We've got two plus two garrisons. Um, Grunberg is just a regular settlement, but it is... Um, it's got the maximum walls and the maximum garrison. Nuln is an actual city with the first tier walls, so it's got a decent garrison, but not the best possible. But that basically means we've got like four armies to their three, but we need to be able to use them strategically and draw them into fights that we can win. So fortunately, uh, just before we got our walls up, it looks like Averland is hitting Fildorf. Um, I don't know that we can win this. It, it certainly doesn't look like we can. So I might just auto-resolve it. But, um... Shoot, like, I... If this were Rome 2, I could win this battle, but in... In Warhammer, my... My abilities seem to be lacking slightly. But they have me outnumbered pretty handily as far as infantry goes. And then I do have a slight advantage in range units, but it doesn't matter if I can't keep them away from them. And then they also have a level 4 hero to my zero heroes. So I think I'm just going to auto-resolve this one and take the loss. Which sucks, but I mean, I don't see what else I can do. Okay, so we got one hell of a battle happening up here. Uh, Karak Norn has decided to attack the forces of chaos that were attempting to um, besiege, I don't remember what it was, oh, Grunberg. And obviously we had the garrison there plus um, Elgar Nussbacker's army. So this is going to be a huge, huge battle. I'd like to fight this one, although I don't want to have to control the friendly AI. I don't know that we do have to. Um, I don't think I've been in a battle like this yet in War, in uh, Total War Warhammer. I know in um, like Rome 2 you can say that you don't want to command the, the whole army, just your part of the army. I don't see an option in Warhammer for that, so I'm hoping that... Um, they command their own units, I can just focus on mine, because that's more than enough. Like, this is already two full stacks, basically. Which is a lot of units to micromanage, and having another, like, full stack on top of that would be kind of ridiculous. But, um... This still looks like a difficult battle. I mean, I might just go ahead and auto-resolve this, because it says that we'll probably win. Because, honestly, these Chaos Warriors tear through our troops like tissue paper. So... You know what, in the interest of time, because I want to keep this episode going to its full length rather than cutting it off early, let's just auto-resolve. So we got a decisive victory there. Um, that's a decent amount of money, but I'd rather have the leadership. Okay, so Grenberg was besieged, and now it's no longer besieged. You guys uh, saw that auto-resolve there. Fildorf, unfortunately, was lost. We gained a follower, um, gained some armor. Imminent Rebellion in... Uh, there's already a rebellion there. I don't see how we can have another one. Yeah, we know, we know. We lost iron from Fyldorf. That really hurts. Uh, Wissenlin is contested, so we lost our... Um, what do you call it? Our commandment. And unfortunately, our trade agreement was dissolved because we no longer share a border with them. That really sucks. Okay, well, let's get you leveled up. 
Let's get you out of that Force March stance, too. Did he level up twice? I think he did. Yeah, he did. Um, let's go... One in Hard to Hit, one in Inspiring Presence. But honestly, you're going to get replaced right now. If I can figure out how. I don't think... Oh, here we go. Give him the boot. For... Carl Franz. And Carl is going to pursue these guys. And that's not worth fighting. We'll auto-resolve that one. But uh, I feel like the next army over, if we still have enough to go after them, I think that one's going to be worth fighting. Step to it. A lot of stuff happening there. And we still have enough to go after these guys. So, let's go ahead and lock that in. Um, damn, these are also one-sided. I'm just going to auto-resolve them, to be honest. I mean, it's... If the AI's giving me that much of an advantage, I may as well take it. I want the money, actually. I hate auto-resolving this often, but... Sometimes it just it makes more sense. Let's get you guys back home and level you up. And let's see. What's the maximum on this 15 on top of his 110? So get him to 125. Honestly, I want the Pegasus. Give me the Pegasus. Okay, so we've actually managed to destroy two of their armies. They only have one left. So, things might turn around. We might be able to salvage this. Once we do, though, we've got to kind of come back at everybody who has taken advantage of the situation, especially Averland. Averland's going to be the first to go. We're going to wipe them out because the even the vampire counts noticed that, like, hey, this is a bad situation. We should probably help out. Meanwhile, Averland's like, oh, look, the Empire's busy. Let's go take some of their land. So, yeah, Averland's going to pay. Um, we'll probably renew our war with the vampire counts if we can turn this around as well but Averland's definitely first anyways we're out of time so thank you guys so much for watching i had a great time playing some total war warhammer with you guys and i really look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode